himself and another player that they this new staff had to try to bring back up to try to get himself to believe that he can be the quarterback and leader of this team. And uh, inside this offense will look very different than what you were used to seeing under Bobby Petrino, but the offensive line needs a quantum step forward. They gave up 43 sacks. Makai Becton is a future NFL player at left tackle. We'll keep an eye on the matchup with him and these great edge rushers for the Irish. Left side's a strength, right side's a concern. They do have some experience at wide receiver. Look for Fitzpatrick and Dawkins and also number one, Tutu Atwell to try to make plays. Atwell is a guy that they're undersized. They want to get him the ball in space. Hawkins got two on first down, and that pass will look for him on the sideline, and it's a nice back shoulder catch made by Seth Dawkins, the veteran of this receiving court. And look how starved they are for a big play. They're just happy. Oh, crazy. How about that great effort? Dawkins had strong hands, but I love the placement of the ball on the back shoulder. It gets away from him a little bit. That's a tremendous effort. They might take a peek from the other angle. Right here is a great look at it. I think he got his hand underneath. I think that's a reception. Great effort and a nice throw to get past, settled into this game. Tremendous catch. Exactly catch. the kind of play they needed is spark. Hawkins makes his way. Center steps has a first down and dives to the 45. Watch his zone play. Watch them get the linebackers and the defensive line on skates going this way. Everybody from Notre Dame is going this way. And they're going to try to find a crease right there. Puts his foot in the ground, is able to cut back and get some good yards. He's a quick guy, obviously, at 182, but also tough. But he runs with a chip on his shoulder, as a lot of undersized backs do. The trips into the boundary here, up at the top. Another Wanda Hawkins. Unable to really get those blocks on the edge, and there's no game. Here's the Irish defense, and you look at guys like Julian Acora, Khaled Kareem, <laughs> Dalen Hayes. It's formidable. Yeah, they, they've got some great players in depth up front. The real qu question is at linebacker. They lose Drew Tranquil and Tavon Coney, two leaders. The back end has some experience. Elliot Gilman, both those guys at safety. And Troy Pride takes over for Julian Love into the boundary to be their top corner. Pass flushed. Escapes. He shows his quickness and his turn to run for a first down to the Notre Dame 43. They have to do a lot of that this year. He does a really good job of showing you. You got to remember at 6'4, 240, Scott Satterfield prefers a mobile and athletic quarterback to run this system. Now, he wants to run the ball to set up. Knocking Hawkins down for a short loss. Talked about the battle of the line of scrimmage on the other side favoring Notre Dame. On paper, you would think, of course, that that does on this side of the ball as well with some of the gifted players that they have. That's why. Louisville's got to do a good job of trying to tire them out, trying to run sideline to sideline, some quick passes. Play action, and immediately passes flushed, retreating, and just heaves it to the bench. No receiver in the area as a Wusu Koromoa came after him. Let's see if they huddle up. Yeah, the big question is, did he get outside of the tackle box? And I think the answer is yes. And then it's a matter of, did it get across the line of scrimmage? You can see where the, the tackle box would be right about, right about there. And can he get to the hash? I think he got outside of the tackle box and is clean. Benefit the doubt given. He had no intention of trying to complete that. The play was in trouble from the start. And speaking of being in trouble from the start, against this, this defensive line, this is what you want to avoid is third and long. Oh, they caught him there. Okora. That's a great matchup. Okora against Becton, number 73. Both those guys will be playing on Sundays. And this is those matchups on the edge where you can make some money. You can get on Mel Kuyper's Outside. highlight tape. Defense, Defense. number 42. Five-yard penalty. That previous play, what we didn't mention, is Owusu getting in. They, the coaches warned us because we haven't seen a lot of him. They said, watch six, how twitchy and athletic he is. But clearly, Okora up at the top trying to get a quick jump and gives Louisville a much better chance now. A little bit more manageable on third down. He needs seven. Option look. Pass escapes. Jumps his strength as a runner. Finally knocked down inside the 30, but he's twice moved the sticks with his feet. But it's a good job of making a quick decision. Reads the defender. Hayes on the outside. Goes outside. Now he just has to avoid the penetration from Kareem. And again, go back to his athletic ability. Allowed him to get around 53. And once he did that, because Hayes went quickly to the pitchman, there's nobody in the alley. And he has the speed to pick up the first down there on third and seven. Yeah, third down runs of 11 and now 13 yards. How they flip it in the flat. 
catch is made on the edge. It's Marshawn Ford and ex halfback. They'll, they'll move him around as kind of an H back. Pretty good blocker, too. This gives you an idea what Satterfield wants to do with this offense. He, he is trying to read the outside man. Go ahead with pass and what he tries to do. Watch the outside man commit down. He's reading him. And because the corner pride came down to the quarterback, just an option. Just pitches it out and gives him. If he stays wide, he runs the football. Hawkins takes his way to the corner. Sprinting inside the 10 of the Cardinals. Marching first and goal. Boy, they are going back into the boundary with some success. We talked about the mismatch maybe up front, but they're running zone plays, not man-to-man -man blocking or gap scheme. They're just getting those big, talented defensive linemen who slanted into the boundary and just pushing them and relying on the back's vision and experience and explosiveness to find a crease and hit it. Yards in chunks, 15 there. Sets them up to six. Hawkins takes his way. He will run into a wall of white jerseys. Now the question is, this has been such an incredible opening drive for Louisville. Can you close the deal? You get inside this 10-yard line against Notre Dame, and that offense... big part of the Appalachian State success was this guy calling plays, and we'll talk about the, the shocker in the big house that he was a part of. I think you got to roll pass out. You cannot continue to work up the middle. There you go. Pass is rolling, and he'll roll. How's that for an answer? 12 plays, 82 yards. Just when the crowd was thinking, oh no, here we go again, right? Showing a little life, fighting back. Something we definitely didn't see from Louisville in the second half of the 2018 season. Creaky, fourth year kicker, very reliable, knocks it through. Chris, it's the same play they ran earlier, this time it's against man to man. So again, the quarterback's reading the defense, he's gonna get a block right here, and then you're gonna have a, you're gonna have the quarterback running to the edge, he sees man to man, and read it with him. What are you gonna do, you're gonna throw it? No, everybody clears out, there's the alley, take off and go, touchdown for the Cardinals. A great one-headed catch by Dawkins set the table early in the drive, but then the Cardinals on the ground get even at seven midway first quarter.
It's just a short drive away from this football stadium. Beautiful. Get you excited about the sure first week in May already? Oh, man, I can't wait. Love it. Every year. Well, the local long shots have answered. They had four plays in that touchdown drive. Runs of longer than 10 yards. Pass taking it in. Freaky's kick is short and returnable. Moving ahead with Williams and he's hit hard. That's a bumped up coverage team for Louisville. Book and the offense moved effortlessly for a touchdown of the first possession. Now go back to work. Chris, watch this effort here. And again, it's, it's a small thing. To me, it's not when you're trying to change a culture. Watch the man who makes the tackle right there. Blows up the block and it blows up the ball carrier or the, the returner. That is a great job. And he'll be celebrating right there. Blocks, <laughs> takes on the block and then makes the tackle. That is an example of what the coach Satterfield and his staff are trying to use as examples to get this team to realize what they're capable of doing. Boreas Peterson, backup defensive lineman, covering the kick with speed down there. Now they bring a blitz off the blind side, but Book has, has passed tipped at the line and falls to the turf. Ryan Brown is the fourth defensive coordinator here in the last four years. He came from Appalachian State with Satterfield. He had good defenses there, by the way. He sure did. Undersized, but very fast. He's exact, Chris, you're exactly right. Up front, looked like the nose guard who was slanting that time. Looked like Goldwire might have gotten his 90, might have gotten his hand up there to knock that down. That's one way to try to slow down an accurate passer. Boy, lobs it far side and over the head of Chase Claypool. It's hard to do that at 6'5. Covered by Chandler Jones. It's third down. Yeah, but if you saw, Ian Book made that throw. He tried to go high to Chase to, to Claypool, who has great length and great catch radius, but he got pressure. They are coming after him. The defensive coordinator, Brian Brown, who you're going to look at right there, dialed it up. And as soon as he released the ball, he felt pressure down low at his knees. I think it affected the accuracy. Brown is alive. Another feet. I don't think this stadium has been like this since Lamar Jackson played here. Bogles rush three, drop eight. Book escapes and dives this time. Does not have a first down yardage. He's short of the 30. So mixing the coverages in that series. Yeah, they've been showing a lot of pressure. The first two on this series was, was in his face, coming after him. And gives you an idea what Brian Brown likes to do. He likes to try to confuse quarterbacks. You're thinking pressure. They showed it and they dropped. And I think Ian Book caught off a little bit off guard. And then they didn't have an opportunity to convert. And he had to try to pick it up with his feet. Jay Bramlett is a freshman from Tuscaloosa. Kicking. A question mark. Hunting and place kicking for the Irish. A little shaky in the spring. The first time for Bramblett. Gets a pretty good boot away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line by Jay Burns, who's one of the best in the country returning punts. So, the Cardinals, second possession. Coming up, 5-7. The U.S. Open quarterfinals tomorrow.
positive start, but now it's another I, third I, I long. Thought it was interesting for a guy that was so down. They put him intentionally on some of the leadership groups that they really emphasized to try to pull some of that leadership and confidence out of it. Irish are very eager, and again, they've come across the line. Outside, Outside. Defense. defense, defense number 53. Number 53. Third and front. Veteran group. Remember, they've been working the edge with that option, that read look for pass where he can run it or throw it, depending on how the defense responds. This team would avoid on their opening night. Just a mental error again on that Irish defensive front. Veteran group. Remember, they've been working the edge with that option, that read look for pass where he can run it or throw it depending on how the defense responds. Irish are pressing on the receivers. That's a wrinkle this year. Option look again. And making a cut is Hawkins in the clear. Blue Rice. Damian Hawkins finally knocked down inside the number 30. It's a great call on third down. Knowing you're going to get man to man. You're pitching off of this man right here. Once he makes this pitch to Hawkins, look at the outside, the corner running with the receiver. You don't have to worry about him. It's just making that alley player, the safety, miss, which is exactly what Hawkins does. Outstanding call, knowing what to expect and anticipating it by Scott Satterfield to get past the chance there on third and five. Hawkins' speed just ran right through the tackle. 44-yard gain. Two to Allen, and around the Blazer. Maybe the best football player on the team at 153 pounds out of Miami. That's saying something to his level. I mean, he gets the ball. Yeah, he's small, but I'll tell you what. If he's in space, you, you better leverage the football because that's exactly what uh, Coach Satterfield wants to do is whether it's a jet sweep or it's a quick throw, they're just trying to create opportunities for him to be able to use his wiggle to get around people. You see how sudden he is. I mean, his blink of an eye. Look at his second one. High school quarterback, Miami Northwestern, didn't get nearly enough touches last year. Just 24 receptions. Pass, play action. Lost it. Clean it. And well, the incomplete. Could have caught it clean for six, but he couldn't control the football. It was over the end line by the time he had it. Oh, this just could not have been executed any better by pass. In rhythm, perfect throw over the defensive player. And he's just unable to hold on to it. And it's just, it's just, you know, one of those things. And you, you throw that ten times, he catches it nine out of ten. Just took his eye off the ball just for a second. Wusu, who's a big outside linebacker, kind of a hybrid guy. Well, maybe, who knows? Maybe he was. Uh, that's definitely worth another look. Did he? After he missed it, maybe he gets that foot back down. But where does he have control? He gets his hand right. back on it. There, there, there. there. Oh, oh. It's still down. I think the toe is down. <laughs> you got to look at that. They showed the replay. Bob Welch of this ACC crew will take a look at it. If he had control, it was just at the last possible split second, but it's maybe a touch after all. Bobbled there, still has to control he to here and right there. Is he squeezing the ball? Oh, boy. He's the toe down. Hold it. What are they, Dave Kataya come in? Dave Kataya, busy weekend, a rules Wait. expert in the booth. What are they looking at, Why do they Dave? pay you the big bucks, Dave? What do you think of this one? Okay, the rule is you've got to possess and control the ball with that foot down. Right there, you see that back foot down. Now, let's see what happens with the ball. Ooh, that ball is still, it's so close, I don't think they're going to be able to overturn this. Yeah, the, the, the left hand, the ball moved back to the right hand right there. But he's still, boy, it's it's a blink of an eye. It's a blink of an eye. In I, real time, it's just almost impossible to call. Yeah, you can't call that. I just uh, I just don't think they have enough to reverse it, in my opinion. It's close. We'll see what they say. Yeah, indisputable video evidence that he had control when the toe was down. That's what they're looking at. I, I just want to go back and, and brag on passes throw. I mean, that, that was beautiful. For a guy that we keep talking about that was, he had lost his confidence. And, what, you know, he gets this new offense. They're trying to make him more of a leader. Watch how he keeps the safety in the middle instead of working over towards the receivers. He's got to be able to keep the safety right there and then get the ball, throw it on the line right over the defender of Wusu is exactly what right he did. Ruling on the field stands. There you go. So not confirmed, but stands. It'll be third and one. And I think what Dave said is exactly right. I mean, it's it, it was a blink of an eye. Because the ball moved from his left hand back to his right, even though he had his toe down, I just don't know if 
or even the replay booth to slow it down frame by frame if you could be able to say that he definitely had possession if he had a toe down. Can't, it has to be in real time. Right. You can't slow it down frame by frame. Okay, good. Good stuff, Dave. Atwell, unfortunate for him because he's a sure-handed guy, and that was a opportunity to make a monster play. Drive the line still, though, with third and one. As Atwell in motion, they feed. Oh, pass keeps it. He takes off, and it will score for the second time. Abused by the pass rush as low as you can get, Kirk. What a start for this season over. Yeah, but, but also a great, not just a great start by pass in these two possessions, but a really good job of getting some help from his playmakers. And how about the offensive line in this new system against a very talented Notre Dame defensive line? So the play, everything's working. The play calling, uh, the quarterback play, the skill, the offensive line. If you're a Louisville fan, you're going to be fired up. Two possessions, two touchdowns. Valvoline is the only motor oil brand with a dedicated engine lab. Quarterback run game. 75-yard drive capped off by a 17-yard run, the second tonight for pass. Lefty Creaky drives into their fair catch made. The Goodyear blip is the setting for one of the mega cast presentations. Marty Smith and Ryan McGee live from on board the wing foot one. But the blimp cast, you check it out on the ESPN app. A lot more chill there than the folks in the stadium are right now. They are revved up. I think they're stunned, pleasantly stunned to see the offense. Two long touchdown drives just running through this vaunted Notre Dame defense. And the Irish went three and out last time they had the football. And this is where you're very lucky to have a, a quarterback like Ian Book because this is a hostile environment all of a sudden, and he's got to try to go out and settle this offense down. Jones has a crease. Shows his running strength for eight yards on first down. Rajay Burns tackled him. Remember, that opening drive for Notre Dame was six plays, five runs, and they just went right down the field with the exception of one pass for some good yards. But they just controlled the line of scrimmage and pretty much did whatever they wanted to do. Now it's Jones again. Makes a cut. Have a first down. Still spinning and twisting across the 40-yard line. I think you could have driven a truck or a bus through that hole. They are opening up, dominating the line of scrimmage, and there's no reason for Notre Dame to feel early in a game like this 
as they know with Brian Kelly and Chip Long and Ian Book. They're here just to keep, keep doing what they do. First down play action. Book took a peek downfield. Now he's trying to buy some time and will just fire it into the bench. Pressure by Dorian Etheridge, the smart leader of that Louisville defense. You, know, you run the ball. That's, that's, that's what Brian Kelly wants to do with Chip Long. Run the ball, run the ball, and then set up their play action game. But after two really good runs, you'd think you get the safeties out of position, but they were anticipating a play action look, and he had nobody open downfield. All he could do was throw it away. Book, who set the Notre Dame record, 68.2 completion last year, just 104 right now. Second down, that's Jones hurdling some traffic and makes his own crease. And barrels down inside the 45 as the ground game continues to turn away. Yeah, this is power game. You're going to follow Tommy Kramer. Well, Tommy Kramer, the right guard, he's going to come around and just kind of lead the way. You have big linemen that can move around and, and just bury defenders. They'll forget about setting the edge. He's just going to get underneath of that edge and have a lot of room to run. Louisville wanted some fresh guys on the defensive front here. Smith is the back. Book looking to throw and gets it out short. Lawrence Keyes, one of the young playmakers that Brian Kelly is eager to see in action for the first time tonight. Yeah, we keep talking about some of the new playmakers with Miles Boyking moving on and Komet, the big tight end. They've just got to replace Mack. And so you're looking at guys like Keyes. We know about Fink and we know about Claypool, but... I think Notre Dame fans are anxious to see what 13 can do with that great speed. Kevin and Michael Young both out with collarbone fractures. On second down, Book is pressured. He'll be sacked off the edge. Burns, the former Ohio State Buckeye, came on the blitz. I'm a little bit surprised with Book. He locked in on Claypool to his left. He's looking here, but he should have been able to work back to his right. Watch him look initially to the left, but look at the right, the tight end, the receivers. Nobody even lined up opposite of Keyes in the slot. Just a, just a, a kind of a, so he was so intent on getting the ball into the boundary in a one-on-one -on -one matchup that he forgot to look over to his right where he had open receivers even before the snap, you could see it. Third and 13. Got a hurry. Did he get it off in time? No. Timeout. He had to take a timeout. Play clock was winding down. Visitors' offenses did not often have to deal with crowd noise last year, to say the least. It's a defense curve that had 11 sacks all of last year. That was a rare thing, what we just saw. And you wonder, if you're, if you're calling plays Chip Long and Brian Kelly combining, why are you going away from the running game at all? They haven't come close to stopping the running game. It was a first down throw there. They kind of broke the rhythm a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think they have 10 carries, 93 yards. You're averaging nine yards a carry running the football. Um, but as soon as they tried to mix in play action, it seems like they got behind the sticks and, and, and they're playing a little bit of catch up on, on this series. But now they're third and long. You're Louisville. You got to keep trying to mix the looks up. You know, they've been blitzing. Looks like rushing three and dropping eight now. Trying to keep all eyes on the football in case there's a short throw. They don't want to get any yards up after the catch. There's only three guys within 12 yards of the line of scrimmage. Hand off inside, and there's a busted tackle with Tony Jones is going down the sidelines, and they'll be shoved out at the 10. They may not need to throw the football tonight. <laughs> well, they had three down, and they were showing that they're dropping eight. I mean, they were way back. Watch the linemen. They come off the ball. They have nobody to block. I mean, it wasn't third and 20. It was third and 13, and, and the linemen are 10, 15 yards downfield before they got to pick anybody up. Hit immediately in the backfield. It was good penetration there by G.G. Robinson, that big nose tackle out of Georgia. Couldn't tell if Ian Book wanted to pull that ball and try to get around the edge. They'll, they'll, you know, we talk about Louisville's option game, but Notre Dame also likes to do that with Ian Book, especially when they get down here. He is a run threat with his legs. Final minute of the first quarter. Jones again turns the corner and barrels in. And the Irish answer right back with their ground game. Blocks from Kramer and Hainsey on the right side. I, I think we just heard Brian Kelly on the headset with, with Chip Long. Um, we are running the rest of the game until they stop it. Yeah. 
<laughs> don't we? Let's run the football. You, you like to play football. Don't switch a win. decisions with pass and a few few drives has been exactly what Coach Satterfield would hope he would be able to do. Coach Drake. Rusher last year, the backup quarterback, who's out injured, hurt himself in camp, and he's another electric type ball carrier in the quarterback position. Absolutely. He could play a role in this offense. He could as the season goes on. I think tonight he might be more of a, an emergency role. I think Notre Dame trying to make some adjustments with, with Clark Lee. They're moving in different personnel at linebacker right now. Shane Simon is in the game along with Drew White at linebacker. See if they continue to play a ton of man-to-man -man, the way they have these first two possessions where they drop the zone. Quarterback keeper again. It's a block from Atwell and an excellent tackle on the edge made by Sean Crawford. Sat out with an Achilles injury last year, part of a very good group of Irish safeties. Well, they're deep at safety, and they, Crawford has an ability where you can play corner, you can play nickel, you can play safety, and that time came up in space and made a play that we've not seen tonight yet from that Notre Dame secondary. Offense is going up and down the field, 14 apiece at the end of one. It'll be third and long to begin the second quarter. I switched to Boost Mobile and got...
right here. He's looking instead for the flat and inaccurate pass in front of JV and Hawkins. So, yeah, they, they, you know, they showed blitz, fell out of it, and Lamb was able to get out there. Even if they completed that, that play didn't have much of a chance at all. So Mason King, fourth-year punter, is out there. See Chris Fink, the Irish. Got a number of return options. They'll send out the reliable grad from Dayton. King very often put him high, forces a lot of fair catches. It's a high boot, but I think he's going to give it a go. And he'll be swarmed under right there. And excellent coverage as the gunner flies down and makes the play. Russ East. Well, that's how you get down and make a play. Fink has a chance. If you give him room, he can get around you. But Yeast, who starts, we mentioned he was a corner last year, moved to safety, very comfortable making a tackle. Love to see when starters get involved in special teams. And he just outworked the, the blocker to try to get around him, made the play. He met 54, yeah. 52 yard punt, lost a couple on the return. Now, Notre Dame's defense has made some adjustments. They were able to get off the field. Let's see if Louisville can do a better job of defending the physicality in the run game. It's a first down throw and a drop in the flat. Aaron Williams came out of the backfield and couldn't hang on. So when they've tried to throw on first down, he's been successful. Yeah, yeah, I think he just young back. He just got his eyes up field trying to see where he might want to go before he's able to hold on to the ball. So he goes out. Smith comes in. Smith has it. Straight ahead, I think the forward pass. It, you put that on the shelf for a while. I mean, they've gained it 10, 12 yards. I, I, I can't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they're, they're going to continue to run, and eventually, what they're going to try to do is get Louisville to overcommit. Then they can look for the big play downfield. But for now, they're just looking to use these linemen. That time they had the right guard and the right tackle pull around, and they're such big bodies. Remember, this is an undersized front from Louisville, and these backs are hiding behind the, those big shoulders of those linemen. Keeps it, and he'll count up to the edge for about four. It's just to remind him, 12 is going to pull it once in a while. It's like old Andrew Luck at Stanford when he, every once in a while, would just do enough to remind you that he can keep it and pull it and uh, pick up 10 or 15 yards. Books the same way. It's to keep the edge of the defense off of collapsing down on the backs. They gained almost 400 rushing yards last year before you factor in the sacks. Scored four touchdowns. Second and seven. Looks straight back by our sidelines, and the catch is made by McKinley. And he's knocked down the far sidelines. Good size, 6'2", 220. They're sitting back. Louisville just sitting back, fearful of these, these receivers potentially going by them. Actually lost his footing there and made it pretty easy. Pretty easy for Ian Book, kind of pitch and catch when you're dropping back at eight yards and giving them those underneath throws. Louisville just feels like they're trying to keep the ball in front of them, don't they? And the book again, scrambling around, and he'll be sacked for a loss of four on first down. Second sack tonight. Well, that time they showed blitz and actually brought the linebacker, Etheridge, 17, comes up the middle. You can see the surge from the middle of that offensive line. That's what forced Book to have to get outside. It's one thing to get pressure on the edge. It's quarterback can step up, climb in a pocket. When that pressure comes up the middle, Book's trying to get out. Louisville does a nice job that time, mixing it up. Second and 14, a play action throw across the middle and going back is Claypool. Nice hands catch, and it's a first down inside the Louisville 45. Yeah, we keep talking about Claypool with his catch radius 6 5. What he can do with Boykin moving on, Miles Boykin moving on, he becomes that go to receiver into the boundary. He's got to win one on one for them. And be able to go up and make plays. That time goes in on a slant and makes a nice catch. Nice adjustment to the ball behind him. Smith running left. Yeah, he had a tremendous camp. Chase Claypool really could not be contained by the Irish defense, and that's why there's such optimism that he's going to have a monster senior season. He had 50 catches last year. Yeah, they really leaned on him, knowing that, that you know, they've they lost some people. And it's time for him to take that next step. Really grew up a basketball player growing up in Canada. It's 
his, that was his board, still learning the game. And Jim Long said, as you said, Chris, had a great camp and starting to kind of pick up some of the nuances of the position. Both take back some. See both flat series now to the left of Book. Goes out in the flat. Book fires short. Just sitting down on the route and making a short catch is Claypool. Big ball. body, easy to box yeah. out a guy. Sure. Yeah. Big. Yeah. It's great. Quarterbacks love throwing to hoops players, said, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Quarterbacks love throwing to big bodies like that because it, it, it's for, you know, they, they can forgive you with that catch radius if you throw it like the one he threw behind him. Claypool adjusted to it, but they were not able to pick up the first down, so it sets up the third and two here. Jones is back in the game. Shift two tight ends to the right side. They'll run it that way, but Jones is going to be stacked up, fighting, but he will not get there. The Cardinals swarm him for a loss. Okay, okay, got there first. How about Brian Brown's defense? Besides Louisville defense is able to shoot a gap and get a good, good push, and the linebacker's blitzing helped him there. Kelly going for it. You need four and a half yards. Got to get inside the Louisville 35 on fourth down. Jones motioning in. Three-man rush. Book has time. Puts it underneath. Catch made. No first down. Low throw. Fink got it, but didn't go far enough. And Louisville takes over. Chris, that's how important throwing an accurate ball is. Throws this ball low, Fink goes down to make the catch. If he throws it where he can make a play on it and do something after the catch, it's a first down. I know people love the dish remote. It's great. 